different brains, we have different bodies physically, emotionally we are different because we have different hormones, we are on a different time clock, you know, we are we go with the lunar time, that's why they called us lunatics, because we are in time with the moon. What is the word? The C word. The C word, C-U-N-T. And yet, that word is our sacred body. To us, that is our sacred, sacred word. You know, you cannot call somebody that word without belittling what to us is our temple. You know, that is the temple. You know, our vaginas are the entrance to our temple where life is created. And if it wasn't for that blood, you would not be here. Exactly. And what do Christians do? They drink the blood of Christ instead. Why aren't they drinking the blood of women? Why? Because it is a taboo subject in patriarchal religion, women's blood. Because men, the rabbis, the priests and the imams know. They know that women have the power over life and death. It is not mankind that has the power of life and death. It is women. And they don't like that because that usurps patriarchy. So they have to control women's bodies. It is very important for patriarchy to have control over women's bodies. Well, I have a degree in women's studies. Um, I studied women's studies at university first time round. And I am a great fan of history. My, my politics is the, uh, feminism. I'm a radical lesbian. I'm, a, I'm an anarcho eco radical lesbian feminist pagan witch what do you although i don't practice witchcraft and i don't practice paganism but it's the closest that i can come to when people ask me what do you who are you a witch in my eyes is w-i-t-c-h a woman in the total charge of herself and that's what i'm aiming to be uh, but i'm finding a lot of i'm having to counteract a lot of hatred because i am who i am a because i'm a woman so you get the people, both men and women, who hate women. Then you get men and women who hate lesbians. Then you get men and women who hate feminists. So I'm the triple whammy here. You are a sad, strange little man. I'm a feminist because as a society, when we talk about rape, responses often are, what was she wearing? And she was asking for it. Because globally, only 24% of senior management roles are held by women because women are taught to value their appearance more than anything else, because in college environments, plagiarism is taken more seriously than rape, because influential people in conservative media, such as Eric Erickson, say that a woman's purpose on this earth is to be complementary to her husband, because women have impossible standards to live up to. There are endless ways that women can have the wrong body. They're encouraged to get toned and get rid of fat, but are then criticized for being too muscular or bulky. They're encouraged to have bigger breasts and butt, but then are criticized for being slutty and told to cover up. Because 1% of titled land in the world is owned by women. Because when women report street harassment or catcalling, because instead of saying, you lost weight, we say, you look great. And what do we say to people when they've gained weight? Because even though the Equal Pay Act was passed 50 years ago to close the wage gap between women and men, women are still paid 77 cents to every man's dollar. <laughs> hey, what do you tell a woman with two black eyes? Nothing. You already told her twice! <laughs> Fuck that dude! And lose the sexist attitude! The Potty Mouth Princess Posse is back! Today's topic, violence against women! When it comes to domestic violence, we don't need more fucking silence. So, what's more offensive? A little girl saying fuck, or the fucked up and sexist way? Society barely lifts a finger when men raise their fists. Here's a fact! more fucked up than the word fuck. One out of four women will be the victims of domestic violence. One, two, three, four. I was writing down 10 facts of why you should be a feminist. These are the best facts that you'll run across on the internet of why that like you don't understand. Like if you're wondering like why do we have these feminist people in this world? You just don't understand. Let me clear your mind so you can understand the gateway is the only way okay what's your purpose in life you need a purpose right well this this will be your purpose this is your guide okay first reason first reason why you should be a feminist okay 
all men are fucking rapist. Do men have to buy that no woman ever has to buy? Cockstrap? Uh, electric razor? I mean, we could buy electric razors. We need razors. Okay. What do women have to buy that no man ever has to buy? Pads! Tampons! Ibuprofen, men have to buy that too, but not on such a regular basis unless you have some kind of pre-existing condition. Um, bras, you know, I mean, not every woman has to buy a bra, but same thing with makeup. This is why men have to pay for sex. That's why you buy me a drink when I go out. Because by definition, I have to pay more for myself. You should be paying.